Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her a drink fast. This is insane! We keep finding spiders everywhere! We're not alone. There's a huge, hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding. Our shelves are full of cans! We'll eat from cans! We'll sleep on cans! We can even talk to cats! Some of us already do! Hey friends, what's going on? It's the apocalypse! Quick, you have 60 seconds to grab whatever you can! What do you take? Shotgun! Axe! Food! Water! Axe is axe! Said wrong! Food! Water! Maybe... I don't know, a map! Uh, a gas mask! Oh shoot, you forgot your wife and kids. How did you forget your wife and kids? Why are they not fast enough to get into the bunker themselves? I don't know, but you gotta carry them in this game. Let's go do that! Let's go save our family! Difficulty! Maybe. First one. Ugh. Uh, learn all about how to scavenge to survive. In this tutorial, we don't need no stinking tutorial. Apocalypse. The full atomic experience. Scavenge around the house and survive the post-apocalyptic... <laughs> post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Begin the giant clicky thing. Click the giant clicky thing. Me? Ugh! Med kit helps injuries. Uh, did it say something? Alright, alright, we got. Alright, whoa, okay. Alright, we got a flashlight there. We got 60. There's a gun. I like guns. Wife's in there. Uh. I don't know what, what's important to grab. Oh, you! Daughter! Daughter! I gotcha! I gotcha! I don't know what button I clicked. I got poison? Wife! Wife! I like my one! Oh, it's space bar that does it! Oh, nice! And we got soup! My daughter took three hands? Perfect! Get my son! We gotta go get my son! There he is! I knew that, too! We're gonna get the med kit! We are halfway done! Go, go, go! Med kit apparently takes two hands! Alright, we're back! I see a gun! I see a gun! I see... What? That's nothing! No! We are almost out of time! What? We, we have food? We got... We gotta... Whoa! To the... Ah! Hurry! Ah! Alright, I think we're just gonna call it! We're good! I don't need to die! I don't know how I did! I don't think I did well. I got my family, though. And that's what's important. Day one. Family guy. I got a, I got a Boy Scout manual, apparently. A gun. I got some poison. Always good. And some food and water. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. Woo! We can't really say we recall putting all the supplies down here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. So smart of us. Good thing we grabbed that suitcase. What we found inside was <laughs> will definitely prove useful. Boy Scout manual. Bam! I don't know what that does. I don't know what any of this does. Food, I know what that I know what water does. I know what those do. Our shelves are full of cans! We'll eat from cans! We'll sleep on cans! We can even talk to cans! Some of us already do! It's been a day! We're just... There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. Uh-oh. Well, then no one gets food or water. It's easy to escalate silly arguments, and close quarters doesn't help. We were chatting, and then suddenly we're fighting and fighting. Let's hope we all get over this soon. Okay. Everyone's asleep. Let's see what happened on day two. Day two. Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Nothing you to report on Timmy. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Tez not complaining today, at least not very much. No one gets food or water. Uh, it looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the waste rate land is unsafe. I don't want to. No. 
no on that. I'm not going to send anyone out. It's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's day or night. These terrible lights are not helping. Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something we can do about this. I can, I can med kit it, apparently. I'll do a med kit then. I don't know. Who did I med kit? All thumbs. I got an achievement called All Thumbs. <sighs> Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested now, and we can enjoy our time in the shelter. Or can we? We should get Mary Jane something to drink. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Dolores has to drink something. If Ted doesn't drink, he won't last long. Uh oh, they're fine. Uh, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging could result. I guess not then. I don't want anyone to get sick. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now it could be much better. In a way, that has changed. Hmm. Day four. We are surviving like experts. I don't know why I used my med kit. I don't know what that did for me. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for a harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her a drink fast. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now! Dolores will not survive without water for very long. Ted looks like he has one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. All right, everyone. I guess just, just water? Is everyone healthy? Everyone, food! The area is still irradiated. It's unsafe unless you don't mind getting... Timmy seems, <laughs> seems enthusiastic. Let's send Timmy. Uh, we felt like something was staring at us at the corner. We think it's a rat. Well, at least it looks like a rat. We... Uh, shoot him! With a gun! I got another achievement! I'm an achievement whore! I said it like that. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty holes. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. We're, no one gets anything. Um, Timmy was optimistic. What, what can he take? Boy Scout manual. That'll help. Go forth, Timmy. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe that was a terrible idea. Go forth, my son, who looks to be about nine or ten. He'll be fine. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Timmy went out to the wasteland. Life is hard for us right now. Dolores is in a good mood. No new problems are troubling Ted this morning. Excellent. No one gets food. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back and they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on those spiders. It's a really good thing I grabbed that poison. I thought it was a huge mistake. Giant spiders, no joke. No joke. Let's see day seven. We're like Survivor Miracle Workers! This last sentence I was going for. <laughs> Is there one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us climbing up the furniture? It's bug killing spray. This was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon and the results were excellent. We eradicated 404 of those little bastards. Wow. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Shane. Is there water left? Everyone needs water. No, I'm going to do it day eight. Because I know you can make it four days now. It's high time we stop worrying, uh, asking questions. Radio station. I don't have a radio. I can't do that. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Mary 
Jake, he's fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. The lower snow will no longer survive without water. Ted looks like he has one foot in the grave. Everyone gets everything. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. We're not alone. There's a huge, hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in the pipes. It's poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it go. Get to it! We can't let it be in here when we sleep! We will kill it with a gun! Because I brought a gun. Because I'm smart. I think Timmy's back. Timmy, you look... You know... Our cans are saved! Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us! Our gun blew up when we tried to shoot the thing. Wow, that's a really crap gun. It got two shots. We were afraid for Timmy, but it came back from the wasteland and is safe. The local school is a big building a mile away from our house. Nobody liked that place. The atomic blast didn't change that. And now without windows, a few walls remaining, it looks like it's even more unpleasant. Pleasant or not, it seems like a good spot to hunt for supplies. The PE teacher was a World War II veteran. He had some of his war trophies and memorabilia in his office at the school, including a grenade, a bazooka, and a fully functional gas mask. Don't have a grenade, but it's bazooka? I think so. I should. The geography class was very poorly equipped. Only useful thing we could find was a map. Oh. Scout handbook was really useful, but you lost it, Timmy. You suck. Uh, Timmy should eat something. Dolores, everyone looks like they're in a good mood. We're gonna feed and water Timmy. <laughs> He's a plant. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again when we suddenly start. When suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street, said Shaman Go, and answer it. Definitely my daughter, because I don't want to go outside. <laughs> Why would I? I will survive another trophy. Well, friends, this has been 60 seconds. We are surviving the apocalypse magnificently. If you want to see what happens to us, and if you want to see if we survive this apocalypse, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button for me and you, so you know what happens next. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button, and if you want to say hi or uh, comment and be like, you made a bad job there getting what you did. You can comment below in the comment section and I'll be like, probably right. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.